guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to Beauty and the Babe. It's e-juice review day, so I'm not going to lie to you and tell you and change shirts and tell you it's a different day. No, it's not. I'm trying to bang these out, and I have an exciting package. All the way from England, it went through customs. My first international package that I've ever gotten. Um, I was contacted by vapesuperstore.com. They wrote to me and they said, I have two juice lines we work with. They're like a vape superstore, obviously. So, you know, but thank you, Vape Superstore, for sending this to me. These are, was sent for free. It will in no way hinder my review, good, bad, indifferent. But I want to thank Vape Superstore for sending this out to me. It says, hi, we have two lines of juice we work with that we could send over some sample packs. They're not long in the game. They're from Electric Dew. So let's just see what's in here because I'm intrigued. This bag almost smells like weed. I don't, I don't know. They sent me a ton. Okay. So they had said they were going to send some shirts. Um, I'm assuming one from the Attitude line, Attitude Vape, and one from the Electric Dew, like an Electric Dew shirt. Um, they did not, which, you know, I mean, but I have six bottles of the Electric Dew, and these are out of the UK. So let's check them out. I'm going to post their Instagrams down below, too, so you guys can check them out a little more. This is what the bottles look like. These are really cute bottles. I really, really like these. This is in Triple C. Here's all your warnings. These are in... These are 15 mil bottles. They should be in three milligrams. For a 15 mil, they are $9.92 US dollars. Obviously, you then have to, you know, add shipping and stuff, which is going to be more from England. Raspberry Rewire. So this is, all they have is 15 mil bottles. They have 0, 3, 6, 12, and 18 milligrams. Uh, nicotine strength. It's a 50-50 PGVG. So this is Raspberry Rewire is a perfect cocktail of a delicious soft English raspberry with a hint of fresh garden mint leaves. Think raspberry mojito, co mojito cocktail. This vape is light and refreshing. So it says fresh garden mint leaves with golden sugar base. Light, soft English raspberry hit. So this is $9.92 US dollars for a 15 mil bottle. I don't think that's bad at all. So let's try, let's try this one because this sounds interesting. I love raspberry vape, but I don't know about fresh garden mint. Okay, this smells herbal. Like this smell, it smells really good. I'm not getting a ton of raspberry. Like you can tell the taste of raspberry, but I'm mostly getting like a, oh my god, like a spa kind of smell. Interesting. Again, I'm not a huge mint person, so this should be interesting. Wow. Okay. Surprisingly, I really like it. It is a mint. It's not a menthol. It's a nice, soft mint. I don't know if I get a golden sugar base. I This is really refreshing. I wish the raspberry was amped up a little bit because the mint is a little overpowering and I don't do mint vapes. I, well, I don't. I don't. I used to smoke. All I used to smoke was menthol. But now I'm like, oh, I won't do menthol at all. But this is really nice. It is light and it's refreshing. Like on a nice summer day, like I like it. I wish the raspberry was kicked up a notch and I wish it says a sugar base. I'm not really getting that, but I'm getting, I mean, I can taste the raspberry for sure. But the mint is not a menthol. It's just, oh my God, it's so hard to describe. It tastes fancy. It really does. It tastes fancy. I like it. I really like it. Like I said, the only thing I wish is that they amped up the raspberry a little bit. So it's not, you know, the mint is not overpowering. as overpowering. I mean, it's not like, holy crap, menthol. Like, no, no, no. It's a nice, soft raspberry mint. But it's, it's very spa-like. It's very relaxing. I like it. I really like it. That's freaking me out because I was like, eh, 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 eh. But, you know, thinking to myself, no, I'm not going to like that one. Okay, so the next one is Bangin' BC, a magnetic combination of smooth blueberries enveloped with a light whipped cream base to tingle the taste buds. A sparkle of smooth blueberries on the inhale, a light whipped cream taste afterwards. Oh, crapola. You know what this reminds me of? A blueberry sorbet yogurt. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I cannot tell you guys. I just want to drink this out of the bottle. Oh my god. Please, 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 please do not disappoint me. Holy crap. Because I want to just drink it out of the bottle. A spark of smooth berries on the inhale. Light whipped cream base after a taste. Holy crap. Okay, this blueberry tastes like a blueberry jam. It tastes like, it tastes like a blueberry syrup. Like a blueberry, oh my god, it's so good. And you definitely get the whipped cream after. This electric dew line, you guys, so far, so far, 
spot the fuck on. But this blueberry is like I said, it's a it's a oh, it's almost like a, like it's like a strawberry syrup. Like if you had like a blueberry milk or something, like oh my god, or or blueberry sorbet. I mean, a blueberry syrup is artificial tasting too, but. It is so good. I mean, I don't know if I would call it smooth blueberry. Like, I don't really know what a smooth blueberry would taste like. It's sweet, and it's, the blueberry is just, I mean, you know, you do get some of the cream, the whipped cream. It's mostly the blueberry, the banging blueberry, let me tell you. Oh, you know what? It's almost like um, blueberry syrup that you can get at, like, probably Waffle House or IHOP or something like that. That's what it, that's what it tastes like, like a blueberry pancake syrup. Oh, my God, it's so good. Holy shit. Okay. Holy shnikes. Really, really good. They're seriously blowing me away. The next one is Triple C. Have I even been showing you the bottles? Triple C. They're all very similar. They're just different colors. Like, you know, color things. Okay. So Triple C is... I'm so excited because these are crazy. Stands for Creamy Custard Candy. This is the classic British fusion of rhubarb and custard. Offering a sweet, creamy base with a sharp, fruity shock of rhubarb. I've never had rhubarb, you guys. And I actually, I look at rhubarb and I go, ew. To me, it looks like colored celery. Like, I'm just like, ew. But I, I'm excited to try it because I've never had it before. So it says custard base notes, sharp rhubarb, rhubarb flavor to cut through the creamy custard. Okay, so I'm either going to love rhubarb or I'm going to hate it. I hope I love it. That is so good. It doesn't say, like, here in the States, it's strawberry rhubarb. You know what I mean? Like, that's normally what you see. So I don't know what, like, regular rhubarb tastes like. Like, I, I've only seen strawberry rhubarb, like, strawberry rhubarb pie. So I don't know if rhubarb is just separate. You can post down below, guys. Let me know. Like, is rhubarb separate? And then, like, if you get a strawberry rhubarb pie, like, they just add strawberries to it. I don't know what rhubarb is supposed to taste like. But I like it. And the custard, holy crap. It's a straight up custard. It reminds me sort of like a, like a, like a flan. Like it's definitely a custard. It's not like a lot of times they say custards and it's like creams. This is a custard. You get that little eggy note, which I love it. But the rhubarb, it's this sharp fruity shock of rhubarb. I'm not getting, it's so good. Again, I don't know what rhubarb is. I don't know what it's supposed to taste like. I have no idea, but this shit's good. This custard is really great. You get the custard on the inhale and then the exhale, you get the fruitiness the fruity sweetness it's good holy fuck sorry guys no i'm not sorry sorry not sorry for my language <laughs> okay so the next one these are so fucking good i can't believe it oh my god why are they from england okay hopefully it doesn't take too much time to ship or to, the shipping's not too insane on these because wow okay so the next one is am pm and this one is described as want light refreshment that will keep you going from morning until night this all-day vape mixes crisp bramley apple with sweet mango in a high voltage hit so it's crisp sharp bramley apple and this is these are 50 50 blends guys and i normally don't like them honestly all the 50 50s i've tried these are really good i i, I normally don't like them sparks of soft sweet mango now i don't know if i'm a mango person so i hope i get more apple than mango i'm so fucking excited this is crazy does <sighs> anybody that'd be this excited over an e-liquid line holy crap okay so what was this one a.m. p.m. um i'm definitely smelling more mango than apple these are the freshest like berry what fruit notes like except for this the blueberry which is supposed to be like a you know candy kind of whatever chris shut up and just taste this apple mango okay this is really heavy on the mango and i'm not a huge mango person i really wanted apple i love apple vapes but i'm mostly just getting mango i mean i'd vape it i'm just not a huge mango person i've never eaten a mango if you love mango you love this because their fruits are straight on i just wish there was more apple you do get apple the inhale is the mango for sure the exhale is more apple you do get apple. It's just, I wish there was more apple. Uh, you know, again, it's subjective. I like it. It's not my favorite one. Okay, this is called The Flux. Okay, this is going to be weird. Feel the flow of elderflower and tangy lime that will energize your senses. This is a classic English drink combining the soft and delicious elderflower with a zesty citrus flavor to cut right through the taste buds. The perfect all-day vape. Elderflower and lime. Now, I love lime vapes. Don't even know what an elderflower is.
Ooh, ooh, I can smell the lime. So that's good. This is gonna be interesting because I didn't think I was gonna like the mint either. You know what I mean? I was just like, eh, I don't know. And I didn't think I was gonna like the rhubarb custard because I was just like, eh, I don't know. So the flux, elder flower and lime. It's fucking awesome. I can't even describe to you. I don't know what an elder flower is. I mean, I would assume they would use it in a tea maybe. It's so good. It is, again, it's almost a spa-like sensation very refreshing the lime is not too much so it's not just like it's not like a key lime pie or anything like that it's a fresh lime it's so hold on i gotta drip some more of this because this is so good it's like it's unlike anything ever tasted before it's not a candied pie lime it is again it feels classy it feels elegant it's This would be an all, this is the perfect all day vape, absolutely 100%. Holy crap, the Flux, the Flux so far, and the Raspberry Rewire. The minty raspberry, like it's so weird that those two so far, no, the blueberry two. The custard, blueberry custard one, they're all good. And you know what I think I love about this? Oh my God, it's so, the lime is just, it's not, it's perfect. They're citrus flavors they're like you know fruits are spot the fuck on like it's crazy but this feels very classy it's light it's but it's light but you can taste it that's the difference between saying it's light like you can't taste it like it's shit you know what i mean it's light it's not too sugary it's not too sweet it's not too dense it's not too harsh and i like bam in your fucking face flavors and i'm tasting this shit oh my god if this is an English drink, I need to go to England. I have to go. I have a couple English subbies. I know I do. Please post down below because tell me what an elderflower is. Is this really a drink from England? And how do I get my hands on some of this? Because, whew, unbelievable. Un-freaking believable. This line is slaying it. They're new to the game, but holy shit, if you guys can get yourself on, on Electric Dew, I will post all the information below. Get your hands on this. You're, you are out of your freaking mind if you don't. That's all I have to say. Killing me, killing me, killing me. Okay. So the last one, I'm sad. I'm sad this is coming to an end, is Sunday Dew, our signature flavor. Okay. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This is so English. This is such an English line. This scares me. Sunday Dew is a beautiful blend of smooth, clotted cream that is english i've heard of it i the thought of it grossed me out we're gonna give it a shot to engulf the palate followed by a juicy english strawberry a coolie coolie it's french um it's pronounced coolie is a form of thick sauce made from pureed and strained vegetables or fruits oh okay so uh you know what i'm gonna look up cloudy cream my uk people please don't <laughs> please don't laugh at me Clotted cream is a thick cream made by indirectly heating full cream cow's milk using steam or a water bath and then leaving it in shallow pans to cool. You know what? Heavy cream is lightly sweetened, whipped until stiff, and mixed with a little sour cream. Not as gross as I thought. I guess clotted. I think of clotted. Just, just the name of it. Okay, so a clotted cream. So heavy on the vanilla cream notes, strawberry undertones on the exhale. Okay, I can smell sour cream in this. This is weird. They say vanilla cream notes, but I can smell sour cream and some strawberry, which I know probably sounds really gross to you guys. But you know what? Everything else that sounded really gross, I love. It's good. It's it heavy on the vanilla cream notes. Not really. It definitely has a sort of cream with a hint of sour cream like it's really it's so hard to describe definitely strawberry undertones i wish there was more strawberry okay this one's a little underwhelming to me this one is not the best so we didn't end on the best note it's not it's kind of underwhelming the other is like we're just like freaking yes like hello holy shit what is this like what is this magic in a freaking bottle this one sunday dew Heavy on the vanilla cream notes, strawberry undertones on the exhale, clotted cream, and juicy English strawberry. This, because even the strawberry, the strawberry tastes a little not as fresh. I don't know, guys. This one's not my favorite. It's not my favorite. It's, it's just underwhelming. And this one's their signature. But let me tell you, okay, the rest of these, it's good. I don't know if I... I'm not going to say I wouldn't vape it. I would vape it. Would I gravitate towards it? No, because it's underwhelming. Like, why am I going to waste my time 
when it just doesn't do much for me. I, I don't go wow. And the strawberry is good. I just, I wish it was creamier, I guess. I don't know. I was, they said heavy vanilla. Like I, I was expecting it to be creamier. It's definitely not your normal cream. So if you're expecting a regular cream, this is a clotted cream. It's not your normal cream it's but it's not it's good it's just again it's just not my favorite oh my god okay so let me see out of all of these so ampm was the bramley apple and the mango i i like it but i'm not a huge mango person but if you're a mango person holy crap yes get it because it's great wish it had more apple in it the bang and bc this is the the blueberries with the light whipped cream base that was such a creamy blueberry but the blue but it was mostly blueberry it was a light whipped cream for sure the blueberry was like a blueberry sauce like a blueberry pancake syrup kind of thing it was really good though like holy shit good if you like blueberry like sweet blueberry not like fresh blueberry yes like hello raspberry rewire okay the cocktail of the raspberries with the mint holy you know what that just blew me the fuck away okay so the raspberry re rewind blew me away i didn't get the sugar base but the the combination of the nice soft mint and the raspberry <sighs> drop the mic <laughs> like holy crap so good the sunday dew which we just tried like i said underwhelming to me the flux the elderflower and tangy lime this one again drop the aegis okay like holy shit so good that lime it's it's like like blowing my fucking mind it's not lime juice it's not you're sucking on a lime it's not it's smooth not creamy and the elderflower just gives it something it's it's classy it's freaking classy triple c was the creamy custard with the rhubarb now i don't know again don't know what rhubarb's supposed to taste like the custard in here though if you like custard vapes hello these two right here my absolute favorites this one next in line the custard was so freaking creamy and delicious and spot on again rhubarb not really sure what it's supposed to taste like it's nice because it offers you know like a sweet kind of fruity but i don't I don't know what it is the only one like i said that okay they're all awesome they're all freaking awesome this sunday do which is their their classic i find it the worst uh not worst in a bad way but just worst in you know eh, eh, went, went. like just not all that great oh you guys okay i'm gonna post all the information below you guys gotta check out electric do holy crap thank you again oh my god vape superstore for sending these to me holy shitola like so good oh my god like maybe i should be, be being proper in English, you know, like, nice proper English person, but, you know, they're from London, so, you know, okay, maybe they swear, but <laughs> I'm sure they do, <laughs> but anyway, um, love them, I, this line hits it out of the freaking park, this one from the UK, you guys go, you go with your bad ass selves, because, oh my god, thank you again to Vape Superstore for sending these to me for review, so thanks guys, thanks for watching, if you like this, Give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye, guys.